What is going on guys, it's Awesome Variety here and in today's video we're going to be checking out the LEGO City Arctic Air Transport set. Now I had a couple of viewers request that I do a review on one of the new LEGO Arctic sets that just recently came out and this is my favorite one from the lineup. Let me know what your favorite one is from the lineup for the new LEGO City um, Arctic sets uh, in the comments section below. So let's go ahead and get into this review. So this is set number 60193, age range 6 to 12, and this contains 277 pieces. This retails for $39.99 in the U.S. So here's a look at the box and box art. So the box itself is actually pretty big. Um, here it is compared to my hand, as you can see here. So it's a, it's a pretty big box. Now, not only is the box big, but so is the price tag that comes with this set. This set retails for $39.99, nearly $40 in the U.S., and it only contains 277 pieces. So I'm not sure why the, the price per part ratio is just out of the roof. It's just, it's just crazy. It's, it's very, very expensive for this set, um, considering the amount of pieces you get. So I'm not really sure why. Maybe it has something to do with this big piece in the front here. But even that wouldn't make a set like this jump so high. So I'm not sure why it's like that. Um, I, have, I have honestly no idea why this set is so expensive. But um, here's just a look at the box. Let me go ahead and turn it around. As you can see there, there's a look at the back there so you can see some of the action features and the box itself. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the main piece in this set, which is the quadcopter itself. All right, guys, so here is the quadcopter. I'll be calling it a quadcopter because of the four rotors on top. Um, so here's the thing right here. Don't think anything like this exists in real life, but it really does show Lego's imagination with these kind of things, and I do appreciate when they do that. So starting from the front here, you can remove this little cockpit windshield uh, piece right here. Decently sized piece there. And you can see the inside. You got a little control panel there. Nothing really much. Just that control panel. You pop that back on. That is the only piece that is removable. Uh, you can't access the inside here even though it is open. I thought maybe there'd be like a, a way to get in there and store things or something. Or maybe even store the ATV that comes with it. That would have been really cool. But unfortunately, you have to take apart a lot of pieces before you can get inside there. So there is this little um, hook, I guess you can call it, right there. And that is to uh, lift up the saber tooth tiger and ice which we'll be checking out too and that basically works with this little thing right here and if you turn it you can see it'll go down and if you turn it the other way it'll go back up so just a simple mechanism right there uh, we've seen in a couple of lego sets that lego has done we got these little ski things right here to uh land on the snow which is pretty cool um this set i believe only has one or no two printed pieces in it there's only one printed piece on the copter itself and that is that control panel right there. Everything else is a sticker on this helicopter. So whether or not you are a sticker person, you might have a problem with that. So there is the copter itself. Uh, not much to talk about, but definitely a very cool looking thing. Uh, you got these little rotors up here that spin around. This one's been giving me problems. I don't know why, but it just doesn't spin that well. All the other ones seem to spin fine, as you can see here. But it's just that, that front one there. I don't know what's wrong with it, but... uh. Yeah, so you can spin those like that. Pretty cool looking little uh, quadcopter, honestly. I think Lego really went all out in their imagination skills and brought this thing to life. And you know what? I'm glad they did. It's a really, really cool looking set. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the smaller things in this set. All right, so here is the ATV that comes in the set. Now I went ahead and whipped out my trusty turntable um, because this is a smaller uh, build in the set and I didn't want to get my hands all up in it. So we're gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of a 360 view at it, kind of spin it around. So that front piece right there, um, that little logo is not a sticker. It is actually a printed piece. It's one of the only printed pieces in this set. So that is always very nice to see. You can see it's got those 4x4 four four tires, ready for some action. In the back there, you can see that you can store some of the minifigures accessories that come in this set. I believe actually all of the accessories that come in this set, so that's pretty cool right there. You can see it in the back, you got a saw and a couple of ice pickers. I'm not sure the exact name are for those. And you can see you just have room for one minifigure in the center there to drive the ATV around. 
And there's a look at the front there with the headlights. I really wish you would have been able to put this ATV inside the quadcopter somehow. Uh, that would have been a really cool thing to add into the set to kind of really complete it and make it worth it for the price. But uh, unfortunately, LEGO didn't take um, the opportunity to do something like that. So it does not have the ability to store this inside the quadcopter, but still makes a very cool little piece on its own. So there's just a look at the ATV. So now on to my least favorite build in this entire set. Um, not the saber-toothed tiger, but the actual build uh, of the ice that it's encased in. So I'll show you guys why I don't like this right now. So basically, one of the main things I don't like about this is that big gap right there. Now, I know LEGO didn't really have a choice. They kind of had to leave a gap there because the face of the saber-toothed tiger is so wide. You can't actually put a piece there without it popping out. So maybe they could have made the side of the tiger's face a little bit slimmer just so you can put a piece there because I feel like that gap there is just very, very awkward looking. Um, the sides, I wish they wouldn't have used that glass panel, um, just one solid piece. I wish they would have used like little tiny pieces to build up and make it look more textured like the front because I, I feel like it just doesn't look very realistic. Um, I believe what they were trying to go for here is they found a frozen saber-toothed tiger in the ice and um, they just chipped it away and they chipped away at the ice and found it. But I feel like it just it just looks very odd and just awkward looking. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. But honestly, I'm really not liking it. So now they do have this little piece up here, as you can see. And that has to do with that hook at the bottom of the quadcopter, as you can see there. So basically all you do is you just hook that up like that. I can just get it right. And you can see you can pull it up with the uh, quadcopter like that and take it away to the base. So that is a pretty cool little action feature there. But as far as the actual thing goes, um, for the, the thing that's encased in that whole, I don't even know what to call it, the, the ice thing, it's just a very awkward looking build. And honestly, I just don't like it that much. Now the saber-toothed tiger, however, is a different story. I really like this uh, this piece right here. Look how cool that is. That is really, really cool. So you can see his face right there. You can move, uh, I believe, just the back legs there. Um, actually, that whole the whole back of the, the saber-toothed tiger, you can kind of move back and forth, not the legs themselves. Um, the legs up here don't move either. You can move the head back and forth, and uh, that is it. So. Very, very cool looking though. You can make a lot of cool stances with this. Very cool looking, although some of them, some of them he has trouble standing them with, but just a really cool piece to get in this set, honestly. This is one of the main reasons I wanted to pick this thing up, besides the look of the quadcopter. I thought, man, that's just a really cool piece that LEGO lets you have in this set, so I thought that was really cool. So here's a look at the first minifigure in this set. We can see some front torso printing, as well as leg printing, and just a helmet with a visor. So you can see her there. And taking a look at the back, you can see some rear torso printing as well. Now there are no alternate faces for these minifigures, unfortunately. Um, I wish she had an alternate face because uh, um, she can actually hide one behind that helmet. The other minifigure can't really. Um, but unfortunately, LEGO didn't take the advantage to do that. So um, still very cool looking minifigure. So here's a look at the second minifigure in this set. Um, Looks like he's very, very prepared to handle some cold, cold weather. Uh, you can take a look at his front uh, torso there. You got front torso printing as well as leg printing. And you can see his face there. It's pretty covered up as you can see, um, but still pretty cool. Got a nice blue helmet piece as well. So that's always a very cool piece to get. And if you flip him to the back, you can see some rear torso printing as well. So very, very cool looking minifigure. Um, I think the minifigures included in this set are pretty cool. Um, two I think is fine. You got one to handle the quadcopter and another one to drive the ATV around. So I definitely think it was enough minifigures and uh, just really cool minifigures, cool parts to get from them and uh, just cool torsos and everything. So all in all, this set is pretty cool. There are some things here and there that I don't really like too much as I pointed out before. Um, 
but it's still a very, very nice set. However, the price tag for this set is pretty overpriced for the amount of parts that you get in this set. You only get 277 pieces, as I mentioned before, and it's retailing for $40 in the U.S. I know it is cheaper outside of the U.S. I'm not sure why it's cheaper. Maybe if anyone knows, you can leave that in the comment section below. But this set is pretty expensive for us here in the U.S., and I'm really not sure why. Um, but if you really do like the set like I do, and you really want to have it in your collection, then I definitely recommend you pick it up. It makes for an awesome display piece, and it's pretty fun to play around with as well. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments section below. Um, and I just want to quickly go over some things and just talk to you guys real quick. Uh, for those subscribed to my channel and have been watching my reviews previously, by the way, if you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video. Um, but I am changing the lighting in my videos here and there. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I like. So my reviews are constantly changing. I want to get to a point where I really do like them and, and like how I do them. I know the lighting in most of my reviews is never going to be the same because I'm constantly moving around the, the lights and stuff. But I'm going to try to make it as accurate as I can from one video to the next. Um, so I do like the lighting in this video a lot uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below um, But I think I'm gonna stick with this kind of lighting just so everything's a much brighter um, I'm just making all the bulbs closer to the camera So it's it's brightening up everything so let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below But yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this And I'll catch you guys in the next video peace